Well, let's begin with what has happened while Question Time was on there. As you heard, Tasmanians are heading to the polls. The Premier deciding no more with these rebel former Liberal MPs. He wanted to avoid that uncertainty and instead take his state to the polls early ahead of schedule. Well, I've just returned from visiting uh, the Governor who has accepted uh, my advice that the House of, Sem of Assembly be dissolved and that a general election be held on Saturday the 23rd of March. Can I say uh, very clearly, this election is about who is best able to restore a stability and certainty so Tasmania can take action on the issues affecting you right now. We do have a strong plan, which is all about addressing these important issues, but the parliament has become unworkable. I'm not going to allow myself or my government to be held to ransom for the next 12 months. It's bad for Tasmania and it's bad for Tasmanians. So I've taken the decision to call an election so that Tasmanians can have their say. It's going to be a fascinating election because they're going early, there's this tension. I'd be wary of saying it's going to be some sort of, um, you know, indication of where even Tasmania goes federally, though, Kieran, because Herr Clark, um, you know, you've got a name recognition is a big one, so that might not be the indicator, but... It's also basically mainly about a, a stadium and the money yeah. for it and where it could be going elsewhere if you ask Labor. And you'd love this, being the AFL tragic that you are, but the, the one week, or no, it's five days before the election, the AFL announced the colours and the team name of the Tassie team. So Rockcliffe obviously hoping yeah. that a, a groundswell of support for the footy team helps drive him back into a majority government for the Liberals. And we should remember and remind mm. everyone... It's the last Liberal government in Australia just yes. trying to hold on. Yeah, it is. Um, look, I think there's eagerness for a team. Everyone I've spoken to, though, says that the cost of the stadium has mm. become all-consuming. And it gets a bit um, complicated. You know, the GST deal gets woven into it. They should have gotten an exemption for that. So it hasn't been playing well, even though they've been crying out for a footy team for so long. It's managed to become really unpopular. Stadiums are unpopular because of the spend until they exist, and then they're fine. We saw that in the Sydney Stadium debate, the Perth Stadium debate. So that's the risk for this sort of cynical move that Kieran's alluded to in terms of announcing the team, then having election. Sometimes when people see politicians are being clever like that, they tell you to bugger off at the ballot box, frankly. So uh, let's see what happens with all that. In terms of the federal election, well, they'll be watching the major parties because the Labor Party sees it as one of the few states they can gain seats at the next election, and that's Bradnam Bass, of course. So, um, yeah, I, I think uh, it, it'll be closely watched at a federal level. Uh, but, you know, it's, it does sound like a status quo situation. I, I think there is risk here for Rockcliffe, and I think that's the most fascinating thing when to watch a political leader roll the dice and see where it ends up.